Hi, welcome back to my vacation rental series. This is the sixth video. If you missed any of the previous videos, you can find them in the description below. In the last video, I revealed the whole exterior and this week we are focusing on the inside. We've got insulation going in, drywall is being hung. I'm going to give you a little tutorial on installing the knotty pine ceiling. And then finally we can paint. Speaking of paint, I want to thank Benjamin Moore for sponsoring this video. We already used their paint on the entire exterior and now I'm using their paint on the interior walls as well. With the help of Benjamin Moore, we were able to entirely transform this space. It's important to use a quality primer on bare drywall, so I used a coat of this Fresh Start High Hiding All Purpose Primer. Benjamin Moore has over 3,500 colors, and because they have their own formulas, their colors can't be replicated with any other brand of paint. With so many colors to choose from, I wanted to make sure I made the right choice, so I went on Benjamin Moore's website to help pick the right colors. We are going with Benjamin Moore's Regal Select Interior Line in the color Chantilly Lace with an eggshell finish. It's a classic go-to white actually one of their best-selling colors. I have this color back at my house too and I love it because there are no yellow undertones. It's a nice crisp white which fits with our Nordic minimalist theme. I was really excited to find out that the local Ace Hardware near my parents house carried Benjamin Moore not only for the convenience but because the quality of their paint is amazing and it goes on so smoothly. Check out Benjamin Moore's website to find your own paint samples and to find a local store near you. The link is in the description. Now that I've given you a sneak peek of the finished knotty pine ceiling, let me walk you guys through how to install it. I've heard a handful of different names for this material, shiplap, tongue and groove board, car siding, I'm just going to call it shiplap for this video. We are running this shiplap throughout the entire ceiling on the inside of the house as well as in the patio. We were going back and forth on whether or not to whitewash it or leave it natural. I asked you guys in the video last week and natural seemed to be the popular vote. So we are going to leave it natural and use a clear sealer on it. For installation, we started at the bottom and worked our way up the ceiling. You'll want to get a measurement to see where your material ends so that you don't end up with a tiny piece. We ripped our first row down a little bit so that the material met at the peak of the ceiling with an even amount of material. There are two ways you can install this specific type of material. There's a flat side, which is what we used, and there's a beveled side. Like I said, you can install the material how you want based on personal preference. The flat side will give that shiplap appearance. Once the material is in place, you'll want to angle your brad nailer so that your nail goes right into the corner of the tongue side of the material at each ceiling joist. As you stack your materials, your nails will then be hidden. If your ceiling is too long where you have to use multiple pieces of material to span a row, you want to make sure to splice your material where there is a ceiling joist so that you have something to secure the ends of your shiplap into. Where our material joined, we angled each of the ends at 15 degrees so that they overlapped, creating a tighter seam. You'll want to have a hammer and some scrap material to use as some blocking in case you need to tap the material into place. You don't want to pound directly into the material because you might damage it. If you have a vaulted ceiling like us, you'll have to start and end with angled cuts to match the angle of the ceiling. It's best to stagger your seams every row so that you don't have the same noticeable seam going across your ceiling. We used a jigsaw to cut out holes for the electrical boxes.
we had to wait to finish the shiplap because the insulation guys are going to spray the insulation in the ceiling. My dad worked on mudding and taping the drywall. Instead of doing trim around all the windows, we're doing drywall returns, which looks so clean and simple. It's a tough job, but my dad makes it look super easy. We're not doing any texture on the wall, so we sanded everything down nice and smooth, and this was the end result. After everything was sanded down, we cleaned up the house super well to get prepped for paint. I was going to use my paint sprayer to prime and paint the interior, but there was still so much dust lingering, and it was tough to get our tape to stick to the windows and to the shiplap ceiling, so we just brushed and rolled out the paint and primer. Next week, I'm making another furniture piece for the vacation rental. We're going to install floors and start working on some of the interior finishes. We're only a few more weeks away from wrapping up this project. If you've been following along up to this point, thank you so much for watching. It means so much. I can't wait to show you guys the final reveal.